Okay, so this is our uh, little demo setup here. There's a lot of extra stuff that's uh, part of the uh, Mega T diff that's uh, slightly behind on development over the Mini T diff here. So, but anyway, I've, we've got uh, we've got the T diff here. Uh, one of the sensors here is in this little pool of water. Um, on here, we got a little candle in there. Get in there and light that in a minute. And uh, so that's our that's our heater. And then down below here, we've got this uh, water here simulating our tank. And then other sensor in here. So and down below here, I've got this. Uh, little loop of plumbing here uh, just a little inlet so I can fill it with water and there's a, a little little pump down here and uh, a little drain and uh, a flow sensor in the uh, loop so when the pump turns on the water will circulate there and so that's that's all connected to this up here. You see I've jumpered the uh, the positive over to the relay and then I'm just using the, uh, the output there. Uh, this jumper is going down to the pump and this likewise is the uh, ground doubled up there and uh, going on to the pump. So I'm switching the positive side of the power here with the, with the relay. All right, so I've got two liters already. I had it on earlier a little bit, just testing. And uh, here's our, our temperature of the water over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, light this candle here now. Okay, so that's going to begin uh, raising our T2 temperature, and and I, I'm just going to go ahead and go back into the setup here and uh, make that bump that minimum up a bit. Make that 35. Okay. Maybe this is beginning to rise just a little bit. We got a three degree difference going on there. Climbing. So. to 30 so we're well we'll forget it was three or four degrees that was our, our t diff value set um but we're, so we're, we're, we're well past that but we're not across the the minimum threshold yet so it's going to climb till we get to to 35 here and this candle continues to get hot in here heat up that little sensor there Okay, almost 34, there we go. 35 coming up fast. Alright, pump on, we're in heat mode. And so you can hear this little little motor groaning and the water's circulating around through here. We go up top here. Oops. So we so we've got four liters, five liters. Six liters. It's a little tiny pump. Hey.
So now based on this uh, temperature differential, you know, there's a certain amount of calories that's required to heat up the, the amount of water that's flowing through here theoretically um, at this temperature difference and this flow rate and so we can keep track of that and we convert that to uh, kilowatt hours so first here we right now we can see our max is probably our, our current max and our stats here already a point two kilowatt hours um, runtime yet so we, we have not even a tenth of an hour yet um, so a little demonstration there of the uh, statistics So the temperature is really climbing there still. So see, I'm just going to go ahead and and uh, I remove the sensor a bit. I've got some warm water here uh, in a cup, and I'm just going to I'm just going to pour it. into here hopefully not create too much of a mess that's gonna that's gonna raise T1 as if the uh, as if our little simulated solar heater over here pumping the water down there if I'm lucky enough for that to get hot enough reach the uh, more than our okay so I, I think our minimum difference was three so it just shut off because we got warm enough uh, so it doesn't need to run because there's not enough temperature difference go ahead and increase uh, put the sensor here back in the back in the hot water let that get a little hot again see and it kicks on again so that's the basic temperature differential controller operation here so you know this would be our whatever uh, solar panel you submit you've got to uh, collect and heat heat your water and uh, Pump it to your main tank and keep track of everything going on.